Hello and welcome to the devotion for Tuesday, October the 22nd, entitled Authority. Now, when we talk about a message with authority, what the people were actually saying about Jesus was that what he said had substance, that it really mattered, that it was something that connected with them, something they understood. And yet this passage in Matthew 7, 28 and 29, where it says, when Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching because he taught as one who had authority and not as their teachers of the law. Now, what did he just said? Interestingly enough, a parable, the way that Jesus mainly taught. It was the parable of the wise and the foolish builders about the wise man who built his house on a rock and when the storms of life came and the winds prevailed, it stood firm. And the foolish man that built his house on the sand. And the foundation was the word of God. Now, that story is not so earth shattering that no one could have pulled it up. But the thing is, it connected with the people. They understood it. It made sense. And it caused them to say, who do I want to be? Do I want to be like the wise builder or do I want to be like the foolish builder? When we talk about Jesus telling parables, they seem simple. And in some ways they actually are. But what he's really doing is he is connecting with people, sharing stories that matter in their life, that make sense. And when they were done, they looked at all the theological rantings of the Pharisees and said, we don't get it. We don't understand it. But what Jesus said makes sense. And I want to be like the wise man who built his house on a rock. For us, we can be filled with great lofty sayings. The question is, are we connecting with people? Do they see something credible? Do they see something and go, that is the person that I want to be? The great thing about Jesus' parables were they were simple stories, and they always left it in a place, who do you want to be? I think we will find that we have great effect in helping people find life, in encouraging people to choose well, when we just connect with very simple stories, the story of our own life, the story of a friend, Lives marked by living out the Word of God in such a way that people can see it really does bring life. Let's pray. Father, Lord, I want our lives to count. I want everything that we do to really matter, to make a difference. And Lord, you said that, uh, uh, that you came to seek and to save every single person that was searching, lost, struggling, wounded, hurt, broken. Lord, I ask that you would help us to connect with people, to truly love, to really care. And that, Father, the simple story of our life as we looked yesterday at being real willing and ready and able to give a reason for our hope, the ability to share life stories that Show your incredible power to lead us and guide us. That, Father, we will become your hands and feet to a world that is searching and seeking. Lord, do your work through us in Jesus' name. Amen. Simple stories with powerful, powerful connections. That's what people responded to. So let's go and let our life be one of those. I'll see you tomorrow.